Here's why you lose friends after spiritual awakening and what happens during your awakening. My spiritual enlightenment separated me from most of my friends. Some say I distance myself, while others say the reverse. If you're going through something similar, know there's a light at the end of that dark tunnel. Our planet is a huge transactional sphere of the universe. We should study and grow together here. When partnerships or friendships no longer help us grow or understand, they bitterly terminate, especially during a spiritual awakening. It's awful. Because they're empty, many of our closest connections may die. I'm talking about love, empathy, compassion, the abstract embodiment of goodness. Relationships can only take so much inauthenticity. It'll die. Though selfish, it's the finest approach to see things from a higher perspective. After awakening, it's hard to pretend. Not everyone wants to know you. Our sincerity may unnerve others. Some will understand, but for others, spirituality is a pinched nerve. Spirituality irritates male egos. Here's the catch, forcing spiritual enlightenment. Like fitting a square peg into a circular hole, it fails. My childhood was shy and artsy. As I became older, I changed to fit in with my professors, family, friends and peers, losing myself in the process. The problem is that if you strive to change without first embracing yourself, the change won't persist. I sacrificed myself to fit in with the society. I took the constant abuse even, just to fit in. Despite my bravery, I was broken inside. Competitiveness and survival supreme in my competitive upbringing, overtaking friendship, compassion and empathy. I tried to fit in everywhere I go by frequenting nightclubs, bars and gyms with my friends, but well, I felt out of place. Spirituality was a faraway concept, impractical conditioned, I believed. Nevertheless, deviating from my authentic self brought discomfort and uneasiness, a gut-wrenching pain. I knew I was stifling my genuine instincts. We are quick to assume that we live in the world. As a matter of fact, we generate our world based on our assumptions, perceptions and beliefs. You perceive an object differently depending on your past conditioning, regardless of what you see. Spiritual enlightenment tears down these presuppositions, ideas, values and beliefs, revealing that our mind and body are nothing but a conduit for our immortal souls to be human. The realization may be unnerving for some initially. This transformational phase altered me immensely. The significance I previously accented, ache power, money, recognition, prestige, no longer had any bearing. My misery and despair were behind me, and love for all creatures filled my soul. A sense of infinite possibilities of boundless being, a foreign experience. The switch was that I transitioned from a character to an observer distancing myself from my own thoughts. I did not feel a personal I or me witnessing. Instead, there was a blank space of awareness that mind's contents passed through. Rather than constraining myself to a finite, floundering mind and body, stressed and striving for worth, I saw myself as an unbound entity defined by unconditioned and consistent love. A joyous feeling flooded my heart as my subconscious behaviors and tendencies vanished. A weight lifted and disappeared, freeing me from regret and resentment, even those who had wronged me. The liberation was exhilarating. My beliefs about religion, success, morality, and living a virtuous life disappeared as I discovered that trying to fit in was causing emotional turmoil. Eventually, I learned how to accept myself, and then my problems began with the material world. I was deemed unfit, aimless, and using spirituality to avoid challenges. Any spiritual person knows that spirituality is one of the most challenging pursuits in life. Walking an unconventional path is seen as an act of rebellion by society. My friends could not comprehend my ideas. I never forced my opinions on them. I accepted our differences, but they could not. Our lack of common ground impeded our interactions since I had abandoned old beliefs. My love was so profound that I didn't bother making excuses or explaining my actions. I knew my existence's purpose, and there was no need for validation or doubt. My path was clear. Several of my friends kept their distance because they believed I was a negative influence. Some thought I posed a threat. People often say they seek the truth, 
but few can handle it when they find it. Seeking truth may feel unnatural or impractical, since we've trained our minds to believe in falsehoods. While it may be impossible to be entirely truthful with the world, we should always be honest with ourselves. Our problems stem from self-deception and using faulty beliefs to rationalize our unkind actions. Under duress, people can be capable of intense violence. Religion-driven crimes and the crucifixion of Christ exemplify this tendency. Fear creates these horrific consequences. As my spiritual awakening deepened, I resigned from my high-paying job as an AIC software developer and devoted myself to mindfulness and meditation. During profound meditation, I experienced great joy and became acquainted with my true self. Defining this sense of emptiness with knowledge is ineffectual. A mere tranquil mind can understand its profundity. The emptiness is an impersonal witness, a reaction-free observer in which all experiences illuminate. Initially, I was distressed that my friends lacked interest in my company, but I refused to indulge in thoughtless habits like the movies, picking up women at bars, political discussions, gossip, or inauthentic spiritual conversations over drinks. As a result, I became uninteresting to my peers. Learning to abandon fear can be terrifying, but it also attracts people's apprehension. Open minds are not easily suppressed, controlled, or manipulated and frighten some individuals. Once awakened, it's challenging to return to ignorance. Spiritual awakening is a transformative experience that's impossible to forget or reverse. It is the final step in our spiritual search. Unfortunately, after awakening, you may lose some friends, relationships, and associations. Don't let that impede your spiritual journey. Authenticity becomes essential to stay on the right path. Your spiritual purpose will reveal itself, guiding your actions. When living fearlessly, the divinity within you will manifest and higher self replaces any guru. You'll start to attract the right people when working selflessly for the greater good. The friends I connect with are compatible with my thoughts. No pretending necessary because they accept me as I'm. Too often, we strive for perfection, but no one's perfect. True empathy arises from accepting people as they are, flaws and all. But don't tolerate abuse from others. Compassion towards oneself is crucial. You may wonder, what about our basic need for social connection? Isn't it damaging to break social ties? In actuality, shedding beliefs enables deeper connections with others. Don't disconnect from the world or loved ones who don't support your beliefs. Instead, let go of hindering beliefs to foster better connections. Your conditioned mind confines you to the mind-body complex, tricking you into believing that nothing exists beyond it. Consequently, you seek scientific explanations to rationalize your worldview. The mind only validates its preconceived notions, making you skeptical and opposed to seeking truth. However, awakening empowers you to surpass the mind's constraints and recognize the unity of diversity. Our physical reality is part of our spiritual journey. Denying the material world is not a remedy. Before pursuing spiritual progress, acknowledge your true self. Embrace your higher purpose, and the universe will conspire to aid you. My spiritual message of non-duality has helped many people. While I can't eliminate the world's miseries, I'm satisfied that my contribution has made a modest yet meaningful impact. So I hope you also find your purpose after watching this video. So, everyone, have you ever experienced a spiritual awakening before? Well, it can be a profound and life-changing experience and one that opens your eyes to new possibilities and perspectives. But while it may bring you closer to yourself and to a higher power, it can also cause you to lose friends and connection. Why does this happen though? And what can you do about it? So today we just explored this complex and multifaceted phenomenon. First, let's consider the concept of spiritual growth. When you embark on a spiritual journey, you may find that your priorities and values shift. You may seek deeper meaning and purpose in your life and may prioritize connection with others who share your values and beliefs. 
This can be a positive and rewarding experience, but it can also create distance between you and people who do not share your new found worldview. Furthermore, spiritual growth can bring about changes in your behavior and demeanor. You may become more introspective, less focused on external validation, and more attuned to the present moment. This can lead to a sense of disconnection or a misunderstanding with friends who do not understand or value these changes. They may see you as distant, aloof, or even judgmental, when in reality you are simply evolving on your own journey. In addition to these changes in behavior and values, spiritual awakening can also bring about a heightened sense of authenticity. You may feel a stronger sense of alignment with your true self and a desire to live in alignment with your own values and beliefs. This can be a liberating experience, but it can also create conflict with friends who are not aligned with your vision for your life. They may feel threatened by your newfound sense of confidence and direction or may not understand the choices you make as a result. So, what can you do if you find yourself losing friends after a spiritual awakening? First and foremost, it's important to honor your own journey and stay true to yourself. While it can be painful to lose connections with people you once cared about, it's ultimately more important to live in alignment with your own truth and values. You may find that new connections and relationships naturally emerge as you continue on your journey, bringing you into contact with people who share your vision and values. At the same time, it's important to practice compassion and understanding towards those who may not understand or value your changes. Remember that everyone is on their own journey and that your spiritual growth may be challenging or threatening to others who are not ready to embark on a similar path. By practicing empathy and non-judgment, you can maintain a sense of connection and understanding with even those who may not share your beliefs. So, losing friends after a spiritual awakening can be a painful and confusing experience. It can be challenging to navigate the changes in priorities and values that come with spiritual growth without feeling alienated or misunderstood. However, by staying true to yourself, practicing empathy and compassion towards others, and remaining open to new connections and relationships, you can emerge from this experience stronger and more aligned with your true self than ever before. So remember, your spiritual awakening is a journey, not a destination, and the friends you meet along the way will be those who are meant to walk beside you on your path. That's why you may lose friends from the past, and this is normal. But for now, I think this is what I can say in today's video. I hope you find this video illuminating and entertaining. Please don't hesitate to write your thoughts and experiences. If you have anything to say in the comment section below, please subscribe to this channel if this is your first time here. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, have a nice day everyone.